who can tell us a little something about the road to recovery after such a procedure. Also a patient who's been through it herself. J.J. Watt is out for the football season, and we know it's because of his back injury. Now, he had a herniated disc and had that surgery, and we're going into an exam room here at the Orthopedic Sports Clinic, and I'm talking with Ashley, who had the same surgery and then had a recurrent injury a little later. So, Ashley, what exactly happened? Uh, well, I had surgery for a herniated L5, and then a year later, I went back to my regular workout routine, and the same disc herniated so once you were, again. So, you were cleared to work out yes. and um, what was that year like before you had the second surgery? Um, I was pretty much pain free until I ruptured it again. And so when you found out you did, what was your reaction? Um, it was devastating. I didn't expect it. And you were in excruciating pain. I was talking with your doctor and he said after the second surgery, you felt so much better. Oh yeah, I've been pain free since the second surgery. And it's been a little over a year, so what's that been like? Have you just been more careful? Yeah, I have. I went back to some workouts, mostly yoga, but just being careful overall. All right, well I'm glad that you're feeling a lot better. So we have Dr. Neil Badlani here and he's the one that operated on Ashley. So Dr. Badlani, what exactly is a herniated disc in the surgery, the first one that uh, JJ had? Yeah, absolutely. So so a herniated disc is the most common injury that we see in young athletes in the spine. The disc is the material that cushions our spine and cushions the vertebra. Uh, sometimes what would happen is the disc will rupture and a portion of the disc will put pressure on the nerves in the spine. This will cause pain and numbness that goes down the patient's leg. It's the most common surgery we do to treat this. We make a small incision in the back and essentially remove the disc herniation. It takes about an hour to do the surgery. After surgery, we expect the majority of our patients to go back to full activity. Mm -hmm. We're very careful to protect their back right after surgery, particularly the first two or three months because there's still some healing going on with the rest of the disc. Um, when patients do return to activity, they can usually resume full activities. Mm -hmm. However, there is always a risk of a recurrent disc herniation, essentially the same type of injury happening to that disc as a result of pressure on the disc and the fact that once you have one herniated disc, that disc always has an inherent weakness. And so there's always a risk about five to 10% of a recurrent disc herniation. So the probability of it happening again is a lot less than actually just having a herniated disc. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so when we do see recurrent herniated discs, if the patient continues to have persistent pain, then we mm -hmm. basically repeat the surgery and remove the recurrent herniated disc as well. And again, it, the surgery should take about an hour and it should allow the patient to get back to full activity without pain. Athletes just have to be really careful with their back, particularly if they've had multiple herniations because there's always a weakness in that disc. And so we really protect them the first two or three months. But after that, we want them to rehab and get back to full activities. All right, and so you're not J.J. Watt's doctor, but learning that he's out for the season, that's probably something that you would recommend as well. I think so. Unfortunately, having to go through the surgery a second time, um, like we know, there's a weakness in that disc. We want him to be very careful. We want him to do everything he can to rehab and really be ready to go uh, when it's time. It just takes time to recover. Cover. There are studies that show that um, patients, that NFL linemen specifically that have this, are usually able to return to full activity. It just, it just takes time for proper rehab. All right, so we'll just have to wait for next season. So now you just have a better idea of what JJ is going through, and of course we wish him well. Here at the Orthopedic Sports Clinic, we'll send it back over to you.